Yo, 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 it's your boy Mickey G, and we're back with these predictions and recaps and stuff. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, of course, starting with this Week 17 recap, which I win 10-6, and six, making it six straight weeks with at least 10 wins. So I'm basically like the greatest, uh, you know, predictor of all time. Um, which takes me to 165 and 91 overall for the regular season. Uh, 11 and 6 in the crap fest, 7 and 10 in the upset, and 12 and 5 in the game of the week. Um, well, some exciting stuff that happened is the Ravens choked. I was, you know, just kind of like, really guys? I mean, they lost to the Bengals. So, uh, that just kind of sucks. I mean, um, Bortles is a bum. Past two weeks, he's been absolute trash, throwing multiple interceptions, causing them to lose the games. <sighs> and if they do that in the playoffs, it's not going to be good, okay? It's not going to be okay. So get your freaking head in the game, Bortles. Stop being stupid. You dummy. Jimmy G, still undefeated, finishes the season 5-0 and as a starter. <laughs> what a beast. I mean, goat, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Bills make the playoffs after 17 years of not making the playoffs. That's pretty crazy. Um, and the Browns finish 0-16. How? Like, I understand if you're a bad team, you might only get like 2, 3, 4 wins. Maybe even 1 if you're really trash, like the Browns were last year. But to not win a single game is more of an accomplishment than to win every game. Because how can you be that bad? That's insane. And the Seahawks finally couldn't handle all the injuries and they died and didn't make the playoffs. Lost to the Cardinals for Pete's sake. Went it up 500. What the heck? I don't know. But more importantly, now it's time for fun with coaching. Because, of course, after the season, everyone's fired. Maybe you're rehired. <laughs> I don't know. But stuff happens, and it's mind-blowing to me. Um, well, Bruce Arians retired from coaching. Good old Cardinals coach. Pretty well. You know, he had 50 wins, or somewhere around 50 wins, which is the most of any Cardinals coach to have. That's pretty cool. Um, Chuck Pagano got fired. I think he should have been earlier. Um, I mean, he wasn't very good. I don't think. Uh, kind of just had people carry him and then no Andrew Luck and <laughs> he sucked. So, uh, Jack Real was fired and they... Hired John Gruden, who had said, I'm not going back to coaching. I don't need to do that. Look, here he is. He's going back to coaching. Hey, whatever works. I mean, I like Jack. Hope Jack goes to Jaguars at some, you know, like position or something. I don't know, special teams coordinator, maybe. But I don't know. That guy, I really like the special teams coordinator. He did a really good job. A lot of cool stuff he did. I don't know. Hire him at, like, some office job or something. Put him... Because he, you know, did so much for the Jacks. You know what I mean? Um, John Fox uh, got fired from the Bears. Kind of sucked. Uh, Jim Caldwell got fired from the Lions. Who in four seasons had had two playoff appearances. And just barely missed the playoffs this year. Because the NFC was so good. Um, but hey, what, what do I know? I mean... Guaranteed they suck next year. So Jimmy's going to be like, should have kept me. But, yeah, who knows. Um, Hugh Jackson did not get fired. Which is very confusing to me. Because he's gone 1-31 in as the head coach of the Browns. Do we understand how bad that is? They're like, oh. You're just getting started, uh, 
just going to do better next year. Well, he, I mean, Lash was like, ah, oh, we're not going 1-15 in again. You didn't. You did worse, which was very hard to do. But once again, I'm not in charge of these things. So, hey, do you, man. And then Marvin Lewis, Lewis got rehired until 2019. This is the guy who's like, I'm going to pursue other things after the season. Um, That didn't happen. Didn't even get fired. He got rehired. Who saw that coming? What the heck? Alright, whatever. So that was fun. Coaching stuff is always strange. It's almost as exciting as the free agents frenzy. You know, or whatever else that happens. So let's get into these playoff wild card round predictions, baby. Starting off with Tennessee versus Kansas City. Tennessee beat the Jaguars 15 to 10 because they're stupid. Tennessee beat the Broncos 27 to 24. Barely. Oh, how they. Chiefs, however, have won their last four. Uh, so that's pretty dope. And Alex Smith is starting, not Patrick Mahomes. Weren't sure if they were gonna pull the Bills. Nah, you know. How they benched Doug Flutie and then they got wrecked and it was a whole big mess and they hadn't made the playoffs since. Um, yeah. Well, there's a whole conspiracy about it. I don't know. Make a video or something. You know? Whatever. Um, so yeah, Chiefs keep going. Get five wins in a row now. Kick it up. Get that dub. Move on to the next round. It's going to be good. Um, well, next is the Buffalo Bills versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Buffalo beat Miami 22 to 16. The Jags lost to Tennessee 10 to 15. Now, the Bills might be without Shady. And uh even if he does even if he's clear to play or if he's healthy enough to play, it's not going to be 100%. And that's a big issue. Because he's a major reason why they won most of their games, or even in games to begin with. Because he was a beast this year. Not that he's ever not a beast, but specifically this year. And I know I love Tyrod. Tyrod's a beast, yes. But, I don't think he's good enough to single-handedly beat the Jaguars. Now, if he gets some help from Bortles, then there's that too. But, if the Jaguars can rely on Leonard you know, the ball, and so they don't need to pass as much where they can pass, and Bortles can be relaxed, you know? Be like, ah, I got this lead by like 20. I can just throw the ball, have it be all nice, score touchdowns, you know, that kind of stuff. Because I like that stuff. That stuff's fun. And, you know, and the Bills are 2-5 and five against winning teams. That's not very good. So even more reason... That the Jaguars are going to win. Yes, yes, they are. I'm sorry, Bills fans. But I don't care. Jaguars are going to win. Atlanta versus the LA Rams. Atlanta beat Carolina 22-10. to The Rams lost to the 49ers 13-34. to Now, the reason they lost is because they rested their starters. Todd, Jared, all the big boys, they didn't even play. Because um, they didn't need to. There was no need for them to play. They're, they had they couldn't move up or down in the standings in any way. So they're like, hey, you don't want anything stupid to happen, somebody get hurt, you know, because that'd screw up the playoffs. So they did the smart thing. They rested them. And Atlanta, though, who's the worst team record-wise in these playoffs, um, has had one of the hardest, if not the hardest, schedule of the entire year. Um, I'm pretty sure they've played like every team in the playoffs except for the Rams um, and themselves, obviously. Uh, so that's pretty darn exciting. Um, but, and they have gone better over the season, but there is one issue with the Falcons. Um, there's the choking they like to do, and then there's Todd Gurley who no one knows how to stop, really. Um, except maybe the Vikings. But that's besides the point. Um, 
So that's going to be exciting, and I don't think they can do it. I don't think they can stop them. I'm sorry, Falcons, but you don't get to choke in the Super Bowl if you don't make it there. So the Rams get the dub. They're moving on to play someone good, probably. So there you go. Um, next is Carolina versus New Orleans. Carolina lost to Atlanta 10-22. to Saints lost to the Buccaneers 24-31. to The Saints were at home, uh, which is a big deal because they only lost one game at home. Uh, and the Saints have already beaten Carolina twice before. Newton, Newton, Fig Newton, Cam Newton, Super Newton did not look very good last week against the Falcons, and neither did the rest of the offense, um, putting up only 10 points. And then there's Kamara. Alvin, my boy, Kamara. Kind of like Todd. No one knows how to stop him. Especially the Panthers, who have failed twice. So, therefore... Saints win, yada da da da, boom, ding dong. Now, before you you know turn off the computer or go watch something else, I'm gonna tell you something. If you know you want to know my take on the whole entire regular season, I got some nice recaps for you. You know, for example, if you want to learn about the AFC, click over here. If you want to know my take on the NFC. Go click over here. It's all sorts of exciting stuff. You don't want to miss out, my man. Just go ahead. Go watch those. Have a blast. Have a time. Stay on my YouTube channel. Give it a big old thumbs up. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Adios.